Hey guys, um, so I'm doing this video on New Year's Eve. Uh, I, I kind of told you guys that I was going to be trying to do a second video this week, um, with good news and that telling you guys that we were able to do everything and get a loan or figure out something to start our, um, treatments. Uh, that didn't work out as planned. Um, the only place able to give us anything was, uh, Amscot and, uh, we couldn't get the, they can only give you 500, uh, and we couldn't get the other 250 to, um, to start up everything. However, we will be starting next cycle. Um, hopefully no emergencies happen next, uh, leading up to next cycle like they did this cycle. So, um, we will be starting, uh, next cycle. We will, um, we already got our savings going and everything like that. It was just a matter of we don't get paid until Thursday. Or, actually, I get paid this Thursday in, which my paycheck is usually only 20 to $40 because I only work about 8 to 10 hours a week. Um, and then I believe on the 7th, Roger... Uh, and me both get paid. So that's when we get, um, would have had all the, the money and everything. And they just, uh, they, we needed to start now, this week. And we couldn't wait another week. Um, because then I'd be too far along in my cycle for them. Uh, so that's why we're waiting till next week in, in the end. Um, however, that doesn't mean that we're waiting for a week. We are not taking a break. Um, quite the uh, opposite. We are working even harder than before this this cycle, just because this is our uh, will hopefully be our final um, natural cycle where we're not being completely monitored by everything. So what we're doing this cycle, and I will like. I'm going to list everything we're doing, because if it winds up working, it may work for you, so you never know. Um, what we're doing this cycle is we are going and purchasing pre-seed uh, lubricant. Um, I don't have an issue uh, with uh, lubrication. Oh my god, that's embarrassing to say. <laughs> we don't have that issue. However, um... It's kind of just a precautionary, uh, just in case there is, like, um, my, I don't know, I don't track, uh, cervical mucus enough to know if it's where it needs to be on the most fertile days, because I don't know my most fertile days. The, uh, next thing we are doing is we are actually going to try OPKs again. Um, I know for a fact that they're not reliable for me in a cycle, in a single cycle, which can last anywhere from a month to four months, um, I can get anywhere from six to 15 positives, more towards the higher numbers. Um, there was only one cycle that I only got six um, positive OPKs, and they were all in a row, except for one. So they were all in a row, didn't have anything. This uh, was in a two-month cycle that this happened. Um... So I kept getting positive, so we were thinking that either something was wrong, uh, I had just too much, many hormones, it was completely false, or, um, or I was ovulating, and it was hyperovulation, or something like that, we really weren't sure, but then it went away, and I think a week and a half later, I had gotten another positive for a single day. Um, but we are going to be doing OPKs again. Uh, the main reason why we're doing this is because we're coupling it with, um, taking my temp every morning and uh I'm my bed's here right next to me is a um tray that has uh all my medicines on it so we put go one ahead and put our thermometer on it and it's not a it's not a BBT thermometer it's just a normal cheapy thermometer that you can get from Walmart and stuff like that but it'll it'll work it'll do its job so take my temperature every morning and I started this yesterday and so I've taken it two days now and I'm uh, putting it in on fertility friend so that fertility friend will track everything for me so we're doing fertility friend the tracking the temperatures I am trying to keep track of um, cervical position and uh, uh, cervical mucus 
we've tried this a few times before. Um, the last time ended up, uh, we, we wound up stopping for the simple fact that I had gotten an abrasion and uh, when we were talking about to the doctor about it, they thought it was because we were having too much sex. And it turned out that it wasn't that because during the time that this happened, we I was too sick to, to do the deed. Uh, and it was because I was checking my cervix way too much. Um, and my body wasn't used to things like that. So that wound up being so we're doing it again. However, I'm being more cautious with checking uh, cervical mucus and cervical uh, position, mainly because uh, I don't want another abrasion that was extremely painful. Um, and because I know from tons of research that it's not the most reliable way to um, monitor your cycle, but we are doing that. Um, the next thing we're doing is uh, vitamins. I got my, he's got his men's vitamins which I do not remember the brand and I believe he took them to work because he usually takes them around noon but then I got my uh, I got prenatals which are just the uh, Spring Valley prenatals um, gummies because I don't like I like gummies I'm a giant child um, I am supposed to be taking a different brand um, I cannot remember what it is it was something prescribed um, by my, uh, RE, however, uh, we don't have $40 each month to spend on it, so they did say that I can take generic, um, as long as I'm getting enough folic acid, which with this one I am, uh, you take two, two a day, and they're 800 MCGs of folic acid, um, per one, so... That gives me what I need. The uh, next thing we're taking, and we did try to take this before, however, um, like a lot of things, I got extremely sick, not because of the medicine, not because of this item that I'm about to show you. Um, I was having uh, rupturing cysts, uh, large rupturing cysts. I was getting extremely sick, things like that. And I wound up stopped taking all medicine that I was taking. Um, we weren't trying at the moment. That lasted for about two weeks. Um, however, we're going to start this again. And this is what happens when you spend so much time on the internet looking up ways to get pregnant for people who have PCOS. Um, or any kind of infertility. And this is, I don't know if you can see this. This is, oops, called Forever Blessed. Um, if you can see, there's two little babies on it, two little girls. It's a cassava fertility supplement. Cassava is, um, best way to describe it, it's kind of like a sweet potato. Um, it's a cassava root. Uh, a lot of people have been, um, have, a lot of scientists, a lot of doctors have said that cassava actually boosts fertility. Um, and if you read this, it just says take one tablet or one capsule in the morning daily. Cassava is a drug-free supplement that naturally increases hyperovulation. Regular use of cassava supplement increases chances of twins each month it is taken, with peak chances occurring after six months of supplement use. So, um, we're not taking this necessarily because we want twins, because it, it does say it does increase chances. Um, we're taking it because it helps ovulation. Um, and that's my biggest issue is ovulating. I don't ovulate on a normal cycle, and it's hard to predict when I will ovulate. So we're taking this to help uh, to help um, kind of kickstart ovulation. So hopefully we will be able to time it better. Um, if we wind up with twins, um, Roger has said a million times that he always expected having triplets our first time around. So, it's not like we're going to be, oh no, twins, what are we going to do? No. Um, so, we are starting this again. Um, it doesn't have any side effects. Because um, it, all it is, is they take the cassava root. And you can look it up on Google and whatever. It, they take the cassava and they grind it up and they use uh, every bit of it into a powder, grind it into a powder, and then they put it into little gel capsules. So, that's all that is. And I even... Just, I have two bottles of these. 
left over from the first time. So these ones are, they're a decent size. That's probably the worst thing is that it is a um, fairly larger pill. But if you're like me where you're always taking different medicines, you're used to it. I've taken horse pills a million times and there's not really so. But that's, that's the worst part is you kind of have a gag reflex at first because of how large they are. But there's no symptoms. Um, I did notice being a little bit more munchier, but that could have been just the time that I was taking it. I tend to get very munchy um, leading up to my period and directly after my period. Like, right now, I had, like, yesterday, I had um, a big bowl of watermelon to myself. <laughs> I had a big bowl of popcorn to myself. I had a Reese's, or not Reese's, um, Rice Krispies treat and like 20 other snacks all in a span of like three hours. <laughs> uh, so, um, so that could just be me. Sorry, stretching. Mm. Um, other things that we are doing. Um, these really don't have anything to do with trying to conceive, but they are going to be different in this month, uh. I am switching to all cloth um, pads. I did tons of research, and I did not like what I found out about um, about um, regular pads and tampons. So I'm switching to that to try to help uh, my body regulate itself, because apparently that can help regulate everything. Um, we are... In the process, still, of rearranging our entire room, we haven't gotten any of the furniture moved that we want to. However, we did get most of the um, crap out. Um, we just got one large pile over to the side over here. Um, once that's gone, we're going to be taking two bookcases out that um, were in great use, but now we're putting those books into storage. So those will be going. And then hopefully, before we find out the gender of the baby, which will be on the 13th, uh, we will be rearranging this room. So that's that part. Um, I keep saying that I'm going to show you guys what I've already gotten for um, the new baby. However, uh, I really just don't want to show you this disaster area of a room and show you the baby stuff. I would have to. So I am putting it off a little bit longer. I really want to get it done within the next week or so. However, I just, I, you guys don't deserve to see this, um, this disaster. So, um, we'll be putting that off for a little bit longer. Sorry, I'm kind of, like, moving around and, like, having a hard time focusing directly on the screen. Um, my, my fevers have finally broken. However, I am, if you can hear it in my voice, I am still, uh, sick. And it is still kind of hard for me to focus in on any one thing. Um, back to what we're going to be doing this, uh, this cycle for, uh, TTC. So I already said we're doing the cassava, we're doing the, um, the vitamins, uh, the pre-seed, we're tracking temps, uh, going to try to track, uh, CM and CP. Um, the only other thing that we're going to try for sure is, um, something that I found called fertility massages. Uh, we, I, I have a tilted cervix, and I had the PCOS, the cyst on my ovaries, stuff like that. Um, and that, while, after I kind of had a breakdown of not being able to start our treatments this month, I decided to go and look, try to find things that can, um, promote, uh, ovulation, um, at home. And I found one thing that was, uh, fertility massages. And I don't know what all goes into it yet, I didn't watch the video um, all the way through, however, I did notice that they, um, massage, uh, the lower gut and everything from the, from the outside. Uh, the only reason why I clarify that is because when I told Roger about it, he was like, that sounds like something you would do from the inside. I was like, uh, no. <laughs> um, but yeah, they, they massage down in the lower gut area and over to the sides, and I think they massage down, like, the thighs and things like that. And, uh, uh, According to the article I read, 
A few things that it does is if you have like a tilted cervix like I do, it helps reposition it so that it's more comfortable during um, intercourse and so that it's easier for the um, sperm to enter. It helps um, balance out hormones because of stress. You're relieving the stress. Um, helps balance hormones, which helps balance cycles. Um, so we will be doing that too. We're also completely open to suggestions as to what could be done in a natural cycle to help. Um, I really, really want to, like, I would love to conceive this cycle. I wanted to conceive last cycle and the cycle before that, but um, things are, I like to, my phrase for this is they're getting down to the wire. Um, February is the wedding. May is when... The baby is due. So I would love to conceive before, like, January, <laughs> just for the simple fact that that way I'm not sitting there on our wedding night or our wedding morning tracking my temperature and um, making sure that I don't overstress because if I overstress, my body will be wholly different, completely different. Um, I'm don't want to be, you know, in the hospital waiting for our child to be born and uh, sitting there temping and trying not to pace back and forth and trying to be calm and uh, taking, making sure that I take the uh, cassava and I make sure I take the uh, metformin that I have to take um, until I'm pregnant and all those. So it's just, um, I, I, Though I don't mind the idea, I will continue trying. Um, I just think it'd be easier. Um, not only that, but my doctors really do not want to um, do any of the treatments around the time that we're going to be getting married. Just for the obvious reasons, we're going to be getting married. It's going to be really hard to plan um, when to have sex around the wedding and around the... Uh, a dinner rehearsal dinner and all that crap and it'll be really hard for us to schedule to go in for the ultrasounds to make sure and everything around all of that so um and that's next month um when we're supposed to be starting all of our well if all goes according to a perfect cycle we would be starting um the beginning of next month most likely knowing my cycles i will probably go to three months uh, before I call them back and tell them I've had another period. Uh, I am sorry I'm taking forever on this video too, but um, just trying to update everyone. And uh, st that sad news of not being able to try yet. And I uh, did have a mental breakdown and an uh, emotional breakdown, but now we're bo both me and Roger are um, back to happy figuring things out. Um, I think we really needed that bad news in the end. Uh, yesterday was nothing but bad news from fertility end to family end, which I'm not even going to go into that. You guys can be blissfully unaware of everything stressful um, on that end. Um, but uh, So I think that we really needed both of those, the family end of the stress and the uh, fertility end of the stress yesterday for a good breakdown. I haven't broken down in a while, and that's been causing stress because there has been a lot of things. Um, and I've been putting off a lot of things that need to be done, such as um, my current job. I do love the job. I do enjoy going. However, I'm only getting 8 to 10 hours or so a week. Um, this week I get 12 and a half. They don't pay attention to my schedule. I do not have a ride during the weeks. Roger's my only ride. I don't drive uh, currently because we don't have the money to give me a driver's license. Well, we do, but we'd rather spend it on other things, such as things for my nieces and nephews, um, things for my beautiful little 15-year-old cat uh, who's been going in and out of hospitals, for, uh, doctors for a little while um, with bladder infections and things like that. So there's just been more important things than uh, spending $70 on a uh, license. And I tell them all the time, uh, certain days I cannot work until after Roger gets out of work. 
and such as uh, right now, Wednesdays through Fridays, I do not have a ride. Today's Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, you know, I work today, I go in at 11.15 to 3. Tomorrow, I believe it's like 10 to something, and then it's like 12 to something. Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, the three days that I told her I could not work no matter what, because I do not have a ride. I was just lucky enough that my mother was is able to give me a ride today, and my sister is able to give me a ride uh, Thursday and Friday, mainly because my mother-in-law is leaving a car behind for us, and uh, I'd be able to drive it myself if I had a license, but I don't, so my sister, who lives right down the street, is going to do it for me. Um, so, though I love and everything... And I know that seemed like a giant tandem. Though I love my love the the job itself, the um the job aspects, the people, uh not talking about the media people, like my coworkers are amazing, my manager is amazing. Um, the DM and all the higher up people who don't know about working in the fabric store have driven the place into the ground. We don't have enough people to survive. We're working minimal hours for minimal pay. I've been there two years now, haven't met, gotten a promotion or a uh, raise at all. I'm still at minimal wage, and um, it's it's ridiculous. At this point, it's more of a hobby than it is an actual job. Um, if I don't have this job anymore, it's not going to kill our bank account. Um, I make more selling jewelry that I make and little uh, fake yarn tails that are um, actually kind of cute. Uh, than I do at this place. And I only sell something maybe once a month, uh, if that tells you anything. Um, so we're actually, I'm going to be putting in my two-week notice soon. I was going to be waiting until the baby is born, but I just, I can't do it anymore. My The stress that it's causing me is too much, so I'm going to be putting in my two-week wait, or two-week two-week wait. Oh my goodness. Too much TTC talk. Oh my god. Uh, no, um, I'll be putting in my two-week notice soon. Um, probably next week. Um, finish off January, and then, uh, February, I will be an at-home wife. I will, um, work on all the stuff here. I got my own little, you guys heard me say it before, my own little work area where I sew, um, make jewelry, um, I will be working on these tails that I told you about that I'm making, uh, baby stuff. I am current, my current endeavor next to the tails is making diaper covers for the nerd families. So the first one I'm making is a green diaper, co crochet diaper cover with yellow, um, triangles on it to make the Triforce. I don't know if any of you know what Legend of Zelda is, but my fiance is a big fan, so we're making, so I'm making that. If it doesn't sell, we'll use it for our kid, kind of thing. Um, careers, yay! Uh, other than that, um, there's not really too many other things we're trying. At the moment, I'm not doing, um, someone suggested doing moon cup or, uh, the menstrual cups, uh, to help keep the sperm in. We actually tried that, like, four cycles ago. And it did not work for us. Uh, we didn't get moon cup. We got soft cup. And it I don't know if it, it was probably my fault. It was probably a, uh, a user error. I couldn't get it in right. Um, and everything just leaked everywhere. There was like no point in having it. <laughs> and I'm not even just ta I'm not even talking about um, the dirty stuff. I'm talking about the things it was meant for, which is dirty, but you know what I mean. Um, so that wound up not working. We wound up not doing those. Um, and we're not going to try them again. I, I don't feel comfortable doing it again. I just don't, like, I don't know. It doesn't seem feasible to me. Uh, there's only so many things you can do in one cycle, I think. Um, if you guys have any suggestions, we are open to it. Um, we are still looking into ideas and everything. Um... See me, I haven't talked too much about the, uh, it's going on 24 minutes, I'm sorry. One more topic, and then I will let you guys go. Um, going on to the adoption a little bit, see me, I didn't really talk about it too much this, uh, this vlog. We are finding out the gender, I think I've said this a few times, uh, we're finding out the gender on the 13th, which is a Tuesday. 
which means that I will not be doing a video or I'm not going to be filming a video Sunday or Monday like I usually do. I will be filming it probably Tuesday right after we find it, find out, and this one will be kind of different. As soon as we find out if it's a boy or a girl, we're going to be going and getting a few supplies. Um, we're not sure exactly what we're going to do. We might do balloons in a box. We might do a little onesie or a little rattle or something. But we're going to do kind of a gender reveal for um, my mom and uh, for Roger's mom. And then we may, if we can get them, get both of our fathers on Skype either at separate times or um, one at a time or both together, however we can uh, work it out and do a kind of a gender reveal for them as well. Uh, however, we know for a fact we're going to do it for our, our moms. And uh, my sister will already know, obviously, she'll be there. Uh, but we'll also do it for Roger's sister because uh, she's really excited. She she really wants the baby to be a girl. Um, so, sorry, my foot's falling asleep. So she's like the only one who wants the baby to be a girl, I swear. <laughs> but um, So we're going to be doing those. So the video will be of us doing the gender reveals for our family. Um, whatever gender reveal we decide, we haven't we haven't decided yet. I, I'm kind of trying to get Roger to decide. But um, so that's what we're going to be doing next week, most likely, or not next week on the 13th. Sorry. Um, so that video will be filmed on the 13th. I will probably not be able to get it uploaded till Wednesday, which means it probably won't be out till Thursday or Friday um, of that week. But I will be doing a video that week. It will be something fun. Um, and and it may be a double feature of that. And then maybe a second video of finally showing you all the stuff I promised to show you about the adoption. Um, anyway, assuming we're going on a half hour of me ranting and raving about stupid things. And uh, going off on tandems and everything. I'm going to let you girls go. Um, I will be updating... Next week, I will be filming on Sunday so that I can hopefully have it up on Monday or Tuesday. Um, hopefully. Uh, so I will be doing that as soon as possible. And with that video, will hopefully be good news on ovulation. Maybe not, maybe so. We'll see. Till then, I will see you girls later. Bye.